morning everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm at Hirim again. This time I'm at Better Hirim, the Collector's Edition. And I've seen a few Hirims lately, but this is still my favourite. My mind has not been changed by, by the others. So it looks the same on the outside at the front. But then you come indoors and it's all oh, so pretty. Inigo's already in here relaxing and whining. Because he always does. I've got my travel lantern on just to make it a bit brighter for video purposes. Lots of space for my imaginary cookbooks. I wish I had that much shelf space in real life. This floor is rotten. <laughs> there it goes again. I'm loving my little fire pit there. Little mini fire pit. So yeah, the flickering light is my travel lantern. It's not this mod. So, gorgeous kitchen. Nice big dining room. And these floral displays are just perfect for me. I love them. I've got one random cobweb that just... I don't know what it's doing there. <laughs> so, more bookshelves. And one of the main features this of this home... Has a bad past. <laughs> Dude, hush. <laughs> One of the main features of this home is this. You, well, apart from the fact that you can auto sort practically everything in this house, um, all of the books. I'm a big reader and I love collecting the books. So this is just perfect and it auto sorts, takes them straight out of your inventory, puts them on the shelves. I don't think I've got anything on me. I think everything, I literally everything I had is in the Dragon Ball Museum. Yeah, shame. And your Elder Scrolls, Claws. And this is just in your sitting room area. I've got to try it. This, no, nothing. Rubbish. There are also quite a few mannequins dotted about. And through here, room for a couple of kids. That little detail, that's beautiful. So they have a nice room. And next door, your alchemy and enchanting and a staff enchanter. And this dude, Colder. Hi. I am your sword oh. and your shield. Yeah, I shouldn't speak to him. It's not good to make eye contact. He never shuts up. So if you get hungry while you're doing a bit of work, you can sit down and have a snack. And look at all these. Brilliant. Love the little safes up there on that shelf. Weapon plaques. I really like the arrow display. And the ingredients, which are also auto-sortable. And all the potions, poisons. And look at all the little buttons. Auto sorts everything this house, it's brilliant. It's even a crap chest. And other stuff. <laughs> this uh, mod was made by the mod author for himself, and this is the only mod that they made. What a shame. And then. Here's uh, Calder's room. And this is another of my favourite features. I just love this area. You have a backyard. somewhere beautiful to sit. Now, aesthetically, there are a few little things I would change. I'd get rid of the archery target, I'd get rid of that dummy inside the house. And I will, because I'm going to keep this. But, you know, actually, there's really very little I would change. Your days are numbered. 
Look at this out here. Dragonforge. Gemstones. So pretty. The house looks charming. Chimney on that. Oh my god, there's a fire coming out the top. Oh! Oh boy. Serious business, this smelter. It's like industrial. <laughs> Trying to tell us in your backyard. So that is a big selling feature for me. And then upstairs, mannequins and display cases. Oh, he's popped off. Yeah, a couple of them have moved because they do. More bookshelves. I mean, really. There's got to be room for just about every book in the game in this place. And just look at that picture right there. Oh god, I just love these little displays. More bookshelves and a little somewhere to eat. Not sure how you'd... I don't think you're supposed to be able to access those. Not with this table right there. Oh, you can activate the first two. Handy. And then your bedroom. Snug. Bookshelves, bookcase, wardrobe. Cozy looking bed. <laughs> A great big fire at the bottom of it. Cozy in here. Why you would buy property in Windhelm is beyond me, but each to their own. <laughs> oh. All your masks. So this is just gorgeous. I love this. But there's so much more to this house. So, you know, this is a kind of standard sort of property. Kids. Mm, uh, house car room, your room. You know, all the usual. But then, if I can find out where... Oh, there it is. Secret halls underneath are absolutely vast. Granted, they don't make any sense at all. <laughs> but I don't care. I just love it anyway. So this thing in the middle is a portal. And as you can see, there are all these doors that you can go through. And you can travel there either just you know run through the door if you know where you're going or just take a portal there so there's this is the hall the hexagon hall there's a mage's room warrior's room thief divines throne hall dragonborn room dawn guard room and the cheat room and i uh, do you know i don't think i even realized that this was here because it's quite sneakily hidden Here's the throne room, and it's hidden behind there. This goes to show, eh? So, all of the spells at your command. Of all the levels. I can increase my skills, trigger werewolf or vampirism, add gold, add lockpicks, Black soul gems. All of the shouts. And I can increase my perks. So, wow. I mean, obviously, 
if you don't want to use them, you don't have to. But they are there. So, off of this central throne room, and look at this. Just, oh my god, the view from up here. Quite stunning. And there are places for everything. And I know people whine because it hasn't got a space for this and it hasn't got a space for that. But damn, it's got a space for nearly everything. And, you know, it's kind of handily set out as well. So, you know, if you know which expansion it's from or which area of the game it's from, then it's very easy to find. I have absolutely naff all on me. Oh, apart from Draven's Bow, which I was able to put up. Because for some reason the Dragonborn Museum wouldn't take that off me. I don't even know why. Every now and again there's an item that it just says no. Even though, you know, you've legit earned it. Um, it doesn't like it. So, hours of fun in here. Ah. It's one of the most comprehensive collector's homes that I've seen, for sure. And unusual. I love the way that it's all set out. I mean, you know, certain things like him. Uh-uh. <laughs> his days are numbered, as are his. I don't need that ugliness in my life. These little dudes, they can stay. They don't offend me at all. Here's all the shrines. I really like these broken pipe water features. They are very nice. Nope. <laughs> What do you think? Stunning, isn't it? And you know, you if you're not sure, like I say, you don't have to actually just run around blindly looking for things. You can just teleport from one room to the next. Oh, and look how when you do put something up there's the bow look how prettily that's displayed a little light underneath it and the little sparkly stars so pretty so I just think this is amazing I'm sad that the mod author didn't make anything else because, you know, with talent like this, I feel like I really would have loved to see what came next, you know? What else could he do? All right, well, I'm going to leave you with that beautiful picture because that's just, this is one of my favourite parts of the house. I'll call that the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching and thank you to all my subscribers and especially to Jor Thanos for being my very first member of my channel. I was like, oh my god, thank you. So I really do appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you soon for the next one. And I like that I've got these bookshelves for all my imaginary cookbooks. If I had that much spell... Sell, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> If I had that much shelf space, oh my god, I can't even speak.